Hello lovely people, welcome back to Basketball Creation video tutorial. In today's video, we are going to look at how to design a happy birthday flyer in Adobe Photoshop, okay? So please, if it is your first time you come across this channel, please subscribe to the channel, okay? And also, please don't forget to like the video, share, share. Let's make this video go viral. So without further ado, please let's get into this. So first of all, Control plus N to create a new document. And then I'm going to use a size of 210 by 210 millimeters and resolution 300 RGB for the color. Click on create to open a new canvas. Control plus O to fit everything to screen. Then guys, I'm going to use this color code. Okay, so this is the color code I'm going to use. I'll click on OK. Then with the help of my paint bucket tool over here, I will select that. Then I'm going to click on it to fill the background for me. Okay. Then I'll go to my files and please, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can download this. It's only this that we are going to add to it. Okay. So I'll click that and drop it into Photoshop. Okay. And I'm going to reduce the opacity to 10%. Okay. So when you type one on your keyboard, it will automatically change the opacity value. So when I click on eight, it will take you to 80%. 55, it, it will take you to 50%. So if I click on one, it will take you to 10%. Okay. So if you want to change it to 5%, let me know in the comment section, what key or what number will you type to change it to 5% or 2%. Okay. All right. So this is going to be for my background. So let me make a duplicate of this. Select both of them. Control plus J to group. And I can name this one as my background. Click on OK. Then I can select a color for this. And also click on this lock to lock that. So the next thing that we are going to do is to make a selection around the image. I have already done that to save us some time, so I'll click and drag this one here. So please, if you don't know how to make a selection, I also have a video on that. I will leave a link in the card above and also in the description below. So check that video out after this video if you don't know how to make a selection. Okay. Then also, I'm going to read your image, click and drag into Photoshop. That's what we have here. So I love this one the tough part okay so with that one we are going to start with the rectangle tool so select your rectangle tool and click and drag to draw a rectangle just like this okay then i'll change i'll select no fill for the color and select a different color so i can see what is going on then the next thing i'm going to do is to make a duplicate of this one so to make a duplicate Please click and drag this one to the plus sign we have over here. You see, immediately it becomes two, okay? You see, it is now three, all right? So let me undo one. Then I'll click and drag one here. Then I'm going to reduce the size here, but in your case, maybe you might have to hold down the shift key like I am doing. Then from here, I'll select both of them and I can align this one to the center. Maybe when you select both of them, it is going to select the background that we just added. For me, I have locked the background. That's why it is not affected. Okay. So I'll click and drag this one here. Then I'm going to make a duplicate to the other side. So I'll click and drag this one here again. I can also hold down the shift key to move this one in proportion. Then I'll make sure I have this one on top of all of them. Then I'll select this one go to my source file and i'll bring in the one with the background okay because i don't want a white background for this so i'll click and drag this one here then right click on it and i'm going to create a clipping mask so click on that to create a clipping mask and let me reduce the size so i think something like this is okay i'm loving it then the next thing that I'm going to do is to, you see this one is too much, so I can hold down my control key and click on this one to make a selection, then control J to make a selection and I can delete this one because I don't need it. Then 
create your clipping marks of course then from here i'm going to reduce the opacity of this one to let's say 60 percent so it is going to blend with the background okay then i'm going to delete this one and i'll click and make a copy to this side okay so this is how i made the copy you can select both of them then hold on your alt key or option on the mark click and drag to make the duplicate okay and then there you have it then the next one so we are going to click and drag the other image so this is it okay then with this one so i'm going to click and drag it here right click and create a clipping mask as the first one okay then i'm going to have this one as this then let me make a selection ctrl j to make a copy delete this one because it's too much right click and create clipping marks as well then i'm going to also reduce the opacity of this one to 80 percent or 85 okay so you see the opacity is being reduced let me show it to you maybe some of you might not see and let me also push this one back okay so yeah so you see the opacity is all 85 okay so you see this is what exactly that we have over here so i can select all of them and make it big smaller and you can also select only this one and make this one way bigger than all of them okay so the next thing that we are going to add is this baby effect that we have here okay so to do that it's very simple the first one is just typing happy so type this one in caps and i'll be using open sans bold or extra bold and i'll fill this one with height okay and increase the size as well and i want this one to interact with the background okay you see it is too sharp so i'll reduce the opacity to 80 by clicking on 8 and you see the opacity is 8 over here all right so let me make a copy of this one then let me turn the opacity back to 100 by clicking on 0 then i'll go to let me change this one to bed. make another copy then i'm going to make sure this test align with the top one so this is how it's going to be select both of them and align this one to the center okay then so what i'm going to do is that i'll select this one then i'll go to fx so this is the important part and i'll select blending mode okay so at the blending mode or the layer style i'm going to take off the fill okay the fill opacity all the way to zero and i'll select stroke as my next and i'll change this one to five like any figure that you find interesting or cool for your work select your color and click on ok so we are going to apply the same thing here so we can just copy the layer style by holding down alt and you can click and drag this fx onto that but you see we are not getting the other effect so you have to go back select blending options and take off the opacity all the way back to zero and there we have it but you have to also make this one interact with the background so let's take the opacity to 80 percent and then we can increase it as how we want it control o to fit everything to screen so let's see this is it so we can position this one here so if the opacity is too low for you you can come here and then not the opacity if the stroke is too low for you you can come here and change this one to let's see let me see i think 10 is okay it's 
So let me make a duplicate and do the other one. And then you can add the person's name, okay? So the person's name will also come and you can also reduce the opacity of that one to maybe 90. And then boom, there we have it. So this is how you can design this simple birthday flyer. By the way, please, you can get this PSD file from my digital store, okay? We have a bunch of digital product over there. You can get one for yourself to support the channel. So let me leave this one at 30%. So I'm going to have a feel of that. So this is how you can design this birthday flyer in Photoshop. Please don't forget to like, comment, share this video. Until next time, keep creating, never give up. Peace. Check your screen, the other video pick for you to enjoy next. We love you.